Falling to my death. Gonna die. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another Gamecast episode where I play, unfortunately, more Fortnite. Maybe one of these days. I might have a game worthwhile where I don't have to think so much. Or maybe once I get done with the Crown Tundra, I might play Fort. I might play Fortnite. I might play, um... Oh, crap. Somebody's in this house. I might play, um... Uh, what you call that game? Uh, Pokemon. <laughs> oh, here we go. Perfect. How'd that work for you, broski? <laughs> I might just like run around aimlessly collecting Pokemon and just talk with it, but I want to complete the main, uh, main story and whatnot before I do anything, but, um, anyways, today we're going to be talking about teaching children things. Now, everybody, you know, I usually stay away from this rule of mine. This is a personal rule I usually do. Like, I don't, I'm never going to tell you. Do I hear what I think I hear by chance? I don't know. Um, as a whole, I usually stick. I, I usually stay away from telling people how to raise their children. And I still will. I'm not going to tell you how to raise your children, but I will. Why do I have the same gun twice? But what I will say is that um, these are things I think children should be taught at least. And... I think that are like 100% necessary for, you know, a human, for a human growth in general. I'm not saying, I'm not going to say you shouldn't teach your children religion. I'm not going to say you shouldn't teach them your political stance. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just going to say this much that I think that so many people are afraid to teach their children anything about sexuality or about uh, sex Hello. Buddy, why are you shooting at me when you're that far away? why you shot at me from so far away, to be honest. Ah, he got me first. Well, it's not often that I die that early, to be honest. Man, I didn't have time to heal myself up, or I more than likely would have got him, but oh well, shit happens. Teaching children and stuff, I, like, legit was just running and collecting things and completely forgot that I was doing this episode for a minute. So, like I, like I was saying, I think what it amounts to, there are some key elements in my personal opinion. I do think we need to teach children. I'm not going to say you should teach. If you want to teach a child these subjects, it's great. I'm glad that you are. But at the same time, I'm not going to remotely tell you how to like actually teach them because telling them these it's like saying oh if you want to go study art go study art i'm not going to be like you need to go to debray debray or whatever i'm not going to say that kind of thing i mean i mean i'm just going to say like here are my suggestions and this is what you should do i've got heartburn all of a sudden ow that is painful um i think that it's important to teach especially okay first of all like Sex, sexuality, gender, I think those are some of the most important things in the world. Also, the internet, the way that it is now, I 100% think that we need to teach online etiquette. I know that it's silly to say, but at the same time, look at how many kids hold iPads. Go to Walmart and look at a, and just pay attention. Look at strollers. When you see a parent passing by, look at the kids for a minute and tell me if you see an iPad or an Android, or the mom or dad's phone sitting at a five-year-old's viewing point. Exactly, because those kids are gonna grow up practically on the internet. They're gonna be hooked in for the rest of their lives. Like, you know what my most non, um, what my most non, um, internet hobby legitimately is 
probably sewing. I have gotten to this point to where sewing has kept me calm, has helped me relax. And I'm actually taking a break from sewing right now because I wanted to do this. It was, a, it was something that popped in my head thanks to my sister. Because my, because my, my nephew, all, all of my nieces and nephews are all constantly online. The only one I think that's doing a good job of raising children right now, le legitimately, is my brother. The reason I say this is because even my brother said, oh, I'm not giving her, I'm not giving her a, um, her own device until she's like at least 14. And I'm like, thank you, brother dear. I'm glad you said that. I have nothing against children having cell phones so much as the responsibility because my, um, my, uh, da 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 how old is he? My five-year-old nephew, who I believe I've talked about being autistic, um, decided he was gonna throw his uh, iPad down on the floor and stomp on the screen. Now the iPad screen is broken. What is this? Storm Scout, probably never use it. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I mean, he doesn't really know any better. He's five years old. You know, he's, you know, his, he probably got upset at something. And uh, he, he did it, but see, that's the thing. You're, if you're mad at something, you don't stomp on it. You put it down and you walk away. What, how should you go about it in my opinion? I mean, like I said, these are just suggestions. So don't take anything I say seriously because at best I'm just an uncle. But, you know, as someone who's lived with children, who's helped raise children and understood, has gotten to that point where I've even told my nieces and nephews, I've said, look, I'm your uncle first and your friend second kind of thing and I'm going to try my best to help raise you because that's what family does and don't make me be an adult crap it's like don't make me be an adult I want you to behave I want you and I don't want to have to be that you know bad parenting uncle situation where I have to put my foot down And that, you know, when it, come, when it comes down to, in my opinion, is that so many people are so afraid to teach their children how to do things. Like, I think what it comes down to, well, I went to make 284 and it was already at 285. Um, what is this? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, snap. I fell through. I just saw that somebody just subscribed to me on YouTube and I was like, oh, Snapple. Um, I, you know, somebody was trying, I was getting into an argument some time ago on another server uh, I created, but now I'm not in it anymore. Basically, somebody said that children need to learn, you know, they need to learn really early about, you know, sexual stuff. They need to know about this stuff. And to some degree, I totally understand. And I totally get that, you know, you need to teach your children that, no, don't let them, don't let people, you know, touch your no-no zone. Don't do that shit. And I, you know, I get it. But at the same time, you know, it's your responsibility as an adult to keep your children around you to make sure that they're safe so you don't have to teach them that early and i mean like five and six look the world is an evil place and it's a piece of garbage half the time but you don't need to be going out of your way to teach a four-year-old if if some weird man if some weird man starts touching you in a way that you don't like you need to tell us about it that's I, you they need to know right off the bat like can I trust this person with my child? You know? You know, I need to know these kinds. I need to know these things. And it's, you know, it gets really funny at times. And not the right button. And I totally understand. 
But you don't need to be teaching them, oh, this is how mommies and daddies procreate. We procreate to make more babies and this is how it works. No. Look, keep their innocence. That's, in my opinion, I think, you know, I'm not going to say that you should not teach your children. I'm just saying that, in my personal opinion, I think, like, five and, at best, wait till they're at least 13. Wait until they start going onto the internet actively and going onto forums and learning how to play video games and shit, you know? Um, if you're wondering why there's minor jump cuts, I'm, uh, I'm talking on Discord and playing this at the same time, so I'm, like, cutting it out, so I'm, like, anybody that watches my, my game cast episodes are probably gonna get really annoyed. But, oh, we're down to the last ten players, didn't even notice. That is me every single time I play this and say, oh, hi, how are you? Oh, shit. Oh, well, shit. Damn it, I didn't get a chance. Let's see in this game how far up I can get. Let's see if I can get under top five at least. Oh, boy, I got top ten. That was dumb. What the hell did he just do? I don't even know what just happened. Thanks for all your crap, broski. Wow, you left that behind. Dumb. Alright, so let's just go inside real quick and heal up. Ooh, pretty gun, but actually I don't need it. We'll just go here. Screw it. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. Because I wanted to like... <laughs> I just wanted to gather it up because now I have two of those, which is sort of convenient. Damn, didn't even see me. I still haven't bought Among Us. That's something I need to do. Anyways, back on topic. You know, I think what a lot of it comes down to, in my opinion, is that I think... As children are growing, like, the oldest person in my generation, which would be 1985, should be about, I believe, like, I want to say, because my sister was born, I believe, 1982, I think, 1983? I don't remember. But, you know, she's a millennial. Because millennials actually start, yeah, no, she's right above millennial, I think. Like, I don't think she's a latchkey, because technically... That would be, like, right at the end of Generation X, I believe. And I know, people always get so pissy about those terms, but... My sister's technically a millennial, and she's about to have a kid. Even though literally nobody in the family wants it, but that's beside the point. And... There are, you know, adults that are in their late 30s, early 40s, who have children... Who basically are... No, that's not moving yet. I still got two minutes, so let's run around in these houses real quick. And you know, they they had their they had these kids in their twenties, and they were like in the mid two thousands, right? And so now we've got fifteen and sixteen year olds running around with uh, like barely forty year old moms, and those moms are just so skittish. Their mom, their moms and dads are so skittish because they're like, oh, I don't want to teach my kid about sexuality, about sex. I'm just gonna let them learn it off the internet. No, 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 no. That is why we have asexuality and aromantic is not because that's how they feel. It's because parents are so scared to teach their children. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you teach your child about 
romant about being romantic about you know sexuality about um you know it, it's okay to love who you want to love and it's okay to be romantic and all the stuff i can guarantee you they're gonna grow up fine but in my i mean of course you should teach them in your own manner but what i want you to know more than anything is that don't sit there and be scared to teach them because you're afraid that they're going to go to school and say something. Because the minute that your kids go to school and they start talking about it, other kids are going to be curious and they're going to talk to their children, talk to their parents. How far? Oh, shit. I don't have time. I have to literally get, get the hell out and move on because I literally don't have enough time. I thought I had enough time, but I really don't. Crap, 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 shit, fuck. I mean, you know how, I mean, I've been told by several girls, I'm very genuine as a person. Girls that I've dated, by the way, I know some people are like, oh, when, when girls say that, that means they don't want to date you and that's friend zone material. I'm like, no, they said that's why they dated me because I'm genuine and I talk to them. A good point of reference, I was just at, uh, I went to my gym. I still call it my gym, even though I canceled my membership because I'm about to be broke as fuck. And I'm just like, I ain't going to, I ain't going to have $10 a month to be able to throw at a gym. I'll just save up and buy a couple dumbbells and try to work on that and I'll just go for a jog jog every once in a while and um and uh you know I was talking to her and honestly a lot of people would have been like I don't know how to talk to girls uh, it's so hard guys I I've literally had a conversation with a female about this and you know what they found hilarious about it I was like oh no you have a vagina what will we ever do? I, I don't know how to talk to a person with a personality who is the opposite sex. I, I am going to be so awkward and weird. Look, you know what? Use your awkward and weirdness to an advantage. Trust me. The minute that you start using that to an advantage, people will like you more. I, I work with my awkwardness. I know that I'm awkward. I know that I'm weird. I know that people don't like everything about me, but I'm going to tell you right now. People like that about me. Yeah, even one of my friends, my best friend even told me, one of my best friends, he said, um, sometimes you're you're overly weird for some people. You're like top weird. And I'm like, yeah, I know it. I can be. And, and I accept it too. Oh my God, this is actually mine. That's funny. I did not expect to come back this direction. That's funny. A lot of these places blend in so much, so I don't even know where I'm at half the time. But, see, you know, I, it just bothers me because we're getting to this awkward, I don't know how to communicate with people these days. And a lot of it's just communication. I think a lot of it falls down to, like, teachers who don't have children and they're just teachers and they don't know how to communicate outside of a classroom setting with their, te with their students. I have two friends on my Facebook that are, uh, that are, some of my, that are two of my old teachers. One of the teachers... I've known her since elementary school, since she's known me since I was a toddler. And she actually helped me uh, not have a speech impediment today. If I, if she didn't, I would probably sound like this still, and I probably wouldn't be able to uh, pronounce my ahs and l's. That is not making fun of anybody with a speech impediment. I'm just saying, if it wasn't for her, I probably would have a speech impediment to this day. I really would like to find, like, a third vial so I can just take it so I can keep these two on me. It'd be really convenient. You know, this is in the general direction. Let's go see what's over here. See, what we, see if there's anything I need. Um... The other teacher, she's, uh, she's my old history teacher from, uh, high school. And I'm still friends with her. She's she's very, very religious. I didn't know that until after I added her on Facebook. And she's like, I don't care if you guys add me on Facebook. Just don't ask me 8,000 questions. I'm like, that's fair. You know, I totally get it. And I'm probably like, she. I think on the inside, she sort of likes the fact that... I think she likes that I'm just one of the more chill people and I talk to her on very small occasions. Like, I have no reason to talk to her outside of, like, I don't know. Oh, crap. I still have heartburn. Oh, that is painful.
but that's not the point. Lack of communication with people. And the reason I bring up the whole idea of like, teachers don't know how and they don't have kids, so they don't really know how to, you know, communicate. You know what? I don't want anybody using this. I know that I cheaty faced one time with it, but I don't care. This just keeps other people from using it, in my opinion. Shit, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. While I wait for a minute. I'll fix that in there. Crap, I ain't got time to read. You asshole, now I have to. I have to fix myself up. How dare you. I'm gonna go hide out for a minute. Cool, we're good for a minute. Uh, well, I think there's another one downstairs, so I can just go ahead and do this real quick. I mean, it's sort of a waste, but also because we're at the top seven, it's it'll probably just be easier to do so right now, and I'll probably find more. God damn it, somebody's in a fucking plane. That's always lovely. Because that means it's going to be impossible to get that motherfucker unless we can shoot his ass down. I'll take the bullets. What was over here? I saw something. Yeah, I'll take those. Bullets. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, gotta run. This is just so I don't fucking die. Top three, all right. <laughs> Shit, my finger. I like, I was fixing myself in my seat right here, and then I all of a sudden hit the trigger button. <laughs> Alright, it's me and some guy left. Where are you? Why do I get the feeling he's the guy in the plane? Oh no, I see him from here. He got me first, good shot. Okay, so I want to go ahead and end it here because I'm like going in and out talking on a server and I'm actually being active right now, so I'm just like, oh, I can't do it. So, this is what I want to say is, you know, I don't really care how you raise your children, but I do want to say more than anything is, I think what's important is for people to teach their children about sexuality, about gender, about being romantic, about, you know, all these things. But I don't think you should teach them too early. But don't also wait too late because you get you end up you're gonna end up with an entire in my opinion it's gonna end up with an entire society of kids of adults at some point being so awkward and they're gonna jump from relationship to relationship to relationship because they're not gonna know 
what is appropriate, what isn't appropriate, how to communicate with one another. And it's just gonna make things so overly awkward because what it's gonna amount to is just so many people not knowing what's up, you know? I think people are gonna be so scared in the next 15 years because the last girl I dated, right? She's 21. She'll be 22 um, in January, in December. And if there's anything I learned about her pretty quick is that she doesn't, she honestly doesn't know how to, you know, just be with somebody. And she's like, her thing was, I don't fuck with people who fuck with their exes. And I said, I don't fuck with any of my exes. And she's like, what about that guy you told me about? And I said, he's not an ex. He's a friend that used to be a friend with benefits and he has a girlfriend and we only did like a handful of things. We, we did it because we wanted to experiment and learn our sexualities and we know we like bisexual stuff but we're not personally bisexual. But she doesn't think that way and she didn't like, her biggest problem in my opinion more or less had to do more with like, she, her biggest thing is communication and the lack of pretty much. And what the biggest problem about it is she was raised probably by parents who just didn't want to have to deal with that shit. Who were like, I don't really need to tell you how sexuality works. You'll just figure it out. No, 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 no. The more you go into a situation where you try to explain, where you try to explain, oh, this is how things work. And you're just going to learn as you go. That's a horrible mistake. Because, like I said, they're going to be jumping from relationship to relationship, not knowing how to communicate with one another. Because the more you do that, the more you're going to fall under this uh, thing where everybody's having sex with everybody. Everybody's, uh, you know, doing their own thing. But over time, you're just sitting there going, who's loyal anymore? That's why I'm monogamous. Monogamous? Yeah, you, I'm, I stick to one person. It's a word I, I have trouble saying. <laughs> So just make sure that you raise your children and teaching them those values because in my opinion, although I say don't, I'm not going to tell you how to raise your children, these are the only true things, I, this is the only real things I want you to learn. I mean, I don't care if you're religious, I don't care if you're very political, I don't care if you're gay, straight, bisexual, all that I ask is that at the end of the day, please, just... Just don't, in, just don't let us end up being one of those shitty, just don't let us end up being a shitty nation or a shitty generation where nobody uh, can understand how to love and how to stick together through thick and thin. No matter, you know, if something bad happens, you, you, you can look at the other partner and say, do you want to fix this? I want to fix this, but do you want to fix it? I think that's all I can say, so thanks for watching. Later.